Hi, I'm Brittany, Category Manager at PetMate, and I'm here today to show you how to properly install a universal wire pet barrier in an SUV. Each barrier comes with an instruction sheet inside the box. Be sure to read it thoroughly and have it handy before you begin. Your instruction sheet has images of each part required to assemble your barrier. Identify each piece before you begin. The red area on the center screens indicates the top and the curved lip is the bottom. Lay the right screen on top of the left screen, joining the lower lip together. Cover two rows of the left screen with the right. Join the two screens together by attaching one clamp unit near the top and one clamp unit near the bottom of the screens. First place the clamp onto the back side of the center screen. It should be placed in the middle of the screen, approximately two grid squares from the top. Next, take a carriage bolt and thread it through the center hole in the clamp. The thread of the bolt should face the front of the vehicle, away from the pet. Take another clamp and position it in the opposite direction over the bolt. Then, place a lock washer onto the bolt and screw a wing nut into place until hand tight. The bottom clamp should be placed onto the back side of the screen in the middle, approximately two grid squares from the base. To insert the threaded rods into the tubes of the center section, make sure you have the red end of the center screen panel facing upwards. Thread one wing nut and one lock washer onto each threaded rod. Then, insert the rods into the bottom of the tubes located in the center screen. When you lift the barrier, be sure to place your hands over the metal rod where it meets the tube. This will prevent the rod from sliding out. Next, you will turn the barrier completely around. Move forward into the interior of your SUV holding the assembled barrier. Make sure the side of the barrier with the lip is facing the front of the vehicle. Reference the interior ceiling light or rear view mirror as a centering point to make sure you have the barrier installed in the middle of your vehicle. Next, extend the metal rod so that the red tip is pressed against the floor of your cargo area. Tighten the wing nut until the rod is secured in place. You will repeat this for the opposite side. Make sure each rod is the same length so the barrier is level. Now that you have your center section secured in your vehicle, you will install the side wing panels. You will need to move into the back seat to do these next steps. Both wing panels look exactly the same, so you can use either for the left or right. Beginning on the left side, take your wing panel and place it on the top of the lip at the base of the center panel. Slide it left or right to find the proper width for your vehicle. Once you have the right positioning, secure the wing panel to the center section using two clamp units, one at the top and one at the bottom. Move to the right side and place the remaining wing panel onto the lip and repeat the same process we did for the left wing panel. Once you have the wing panel secured, your barrier is completely installed and you're ready to go.